I am here with Stuart Marshall, who is the Editor-in-Chief for Osric, better known online as Papers and Paychecks. Hello. Now, Stuart, you were instrumental, or Osric was instrumental in kind of recreating the old school movement. We'd like to think so, yes. So it was the first of the kind of old school games to get kind of re-released, yeah? The history is complex. It's one of the very early ones. Okay, well, tell me more about that. Well, about 2004, um, a chap on the Dragon's Foot forums, um, uh, Chris Goneman, released a, a game that we probably did pre... pre was the forerunner of Osric. Um, independently, a, a chap called Matt Finch was working on... Um, the manuscript that eventually became Osric at about that time. Um, so, actually, both were written together, but the, the, the Chris Gunnerman's basic fantasy role playing game was technically released first. It is probably the first of the real retro clones. Osric would be the second. Okay, and then Osric kind of went on sale, was reasonably successful. And yeah. And as a result of that, we now have the sort of old school Renaissance movement, yeah? Yes. So you've done some other stuff for Osric over the years, including a old school monster manual? Yes, uh, a lot of the people who did Osric originally um, also did a, a book called Monsters of Myth, um, which is a collection of additional stuff for use with Osric. Um, it's mostly monsters. Uh, there's some background lorry stuff as well. Okay, now I know a few years ago you were working on a sort of expansion slash sequel type thing for Osric. What's happening with that? It's still very much happening. Uh, I haven't personally put an awful lot of effort into it for the past couple of years because I'm an incredibly lazy man. But my friend Scott Hoover um, has been doing a lot of work on it and we still hope and expect that that will come out and be published in due course. Okay, now... One of the things I thought was quite interesting about Osric is some of the tables aren't quite the same as first edition. Could you tell us what happened there? Well, when Matt Finch originally um, produced the first draft of Osric, he was conscious that one of the things that can be copyrighted is tables, and particularly uh, data that's in a table that couldn't be produced in an algorithmic way. Um, so what he did um, was to recreate a lot of the stuff um, without referring to um, any of the material that Gygax wrote in the first place, um, but from his own creative brain. And so, of course, what came out wasn't quite the same. And I did the same thing as well uh, when I took over and re-edited it from what Matt had originally written. Um, and because when we've reproduced that without the books in front of us, um, a lot of there's a lot of small changes in the tables. Hopefully, they wouldn't notice in play. Okay, but anything that was algorithmically reproducible, you did follow the pattern, yeah? Uh, as close as we could, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much. So we're giving away a copy of Osric now. So um, check video either side of this to find out how to win that. So this online convention is in aid of child's play. Um, it's a charity that gives games and um, consoles and board games and so forth to children who are in hospital who are recovering from an illness. We really need you to dig deep and give generously if you can.